Flow nice You should open your heart that wanna see what you so like Low life, but I'm telling you to go to hell Welcome back to the channel, my name is Ben, your host And in this video, I'm simply going to be showing you how you can try out Vision OS Simulator For the Apple Vision Pro headset that will be released later on the first thing you want to do is open up your browser it can be safari or google chrome or whatever browser you are using open it up and then go to this website this you can see is developer.apple.com so this when you open it up for the first time if you don't have an account it will prompt you to create one or if you have an account and you haven't signed in in a while it will prompt you to sign in so do that and then once you do that and you have signed in go to where it says account in the top right corner there and then go to this section here that says software downloads and if you click the way it says applications you can see here it shows us xcode 15 beta 2 and this allows us to be able to download sdk supports for all these platforms that are supported here and you can see vision os 1 for the apple vision pro is supported so we want to click here where it says view downloads and once we do that it will open up this page and here I want to show you another way that you can get to this page it's a shorter way but you will need to also create an account and sign in so if you go to your browser and type for example vision os and then just click search you can see this is the top ranking search that comes up from apple if you open it up it will tell you all about you know vision os and what it's all about and when you come to this top section here you can see we can download the sdk file so if you click download you can see it brings us to the same page that we originally opened so either way you can arrive to the same destination whether you use the first method or the second method so once you are on this section we can close this and just keep one tab open so once you are here if you go to where it says view details with for xcode 15 beta 2 you can see here there is platforms that are already pre-selected for us like ios 17 beta 2 now we can unselect that because you see that's going to take quite a chunk it's going to take seven gigs so mac os we can't unselect because i'm actually running mac os sonoma beta or mac os 14 beta i'm on beta 2 and you can select this vision os beta this is about seven gigs plus the xcode download that it's going to do and once you can play around with most of these platforms if you want so once you've selected all that you want and you are ready to download xcode 15 and vision os beta you can click here where it says xcode 15 beta and selected platform so this for now is the selected platform vision os we'll click download and you see it starts to download the platforms that we have just selected now depending on your wi-fi speed or your network speed this might take some time but for me you can see xcode comes in at about 3.2 gigs and it's, a, it's taking like 50 seconds to download and vision os beta comes in at about 7.35 gigs and that's going to take about two minutes to download so once everything has finished downloading you can go into your finder and if you go to the downloads folder or whichever location you are saving this you can see the two files that we just downloaded at xcode 15 and vision os beta so if you double click on your xcode let it run and complete if you open it up it will open up something like this and this is just to confirm that it's been installed and you can see the build number that we have with xcode 15.0 beta 2 and now you can come and close your xcode and what we want to do now is go back to our downloads and run the emulator for vision os that we just downloaded it alongside xcode so we'll double click on it just to run it and you can see this is the vision os beta one give it a moment it will verify and it's basically library and contents that it has right here so you don't have to do much once this is done you can see the os xr simulator this is the file that will allow us to be able to run it using xcode so now we can close all the applications and open up xcode beta 2 that we downloaded right here and we just give it a moment to launch and you can see it had opened on my other window and what you want to do here is go to where it says window and go to where it says devices and simulators click it right there and if you click where it says simulators you can see it has already selected the vision pro simulator since we ran it recently so it can be able to detect that and you can see the vision os build number that we have 21n5165g and you can see the identifier as well if you don't see this section on your device what you can do is to actually go into this section here that says add and 
you can give your simulator like a name you can say apple pro for example like that and then you want to change the device type from iphone xs to go all the way to the bottom to where it says apple vision pro and it will automatically switch to vision os one and then you can create a simulator and select the file that you downloaded but in most cases it will just auto populate for you right here and now we can see the apple vision pro is here so we know it's there and it's working and we can now close or minimize xcode and now if we open up like our quick search right here and search for simulator you see this top section that comes up here so either way we open the second one right there it doesn't really matter which one you open and you can see it's opening up vision pro and that's because it's the one that we selected it's just powering up and it has all the sound effects so i'll increase my volume so that you can hear every motion that i'm making it's actually emulating and you can see here some of the compatible applications if you want you can actually zoom closer like this and you can see if you want to close it you do this or if you want to get some quick actions this is it right here go back to your apps if you want to close this this is how it is and if you want to go back to the app section it's right there on this top corner we have different simulated scenes like this it every time i close and open it just reloads and you can see this is the living room the one that apple demonstrated and if you want to do different um, or enter into the different applications we can enter into the settings we can zoom in just so that you get to see the details if we go to the about go to os version number you can see the build number is the same as we saw in xcode 15 beta 2 and you can see some of the apps settings and whenever you want to go back there's this bar or this x you can close it or minimize it and here you have the different movements that you can do you can see you can look around you can look this way you can look that way and this one allows you to do to move like into a way into the room this is motion that you basically be doing with your head once you get this device and then here too you can see it allows us to go all the way around and this 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 these are actually transparent which is pretty cool and you can again zoom in or zoom out and if you want to reset your view you just press this camera here and it will reset your view right there so that's how it's done it's a pretty easy and simple process and good on apple for actually making this available to the public for free without having to pay the hundred dollars per year fee that used to be there before so that's about it for me remember when you create the developer account you actually don't need to click where it says enroll because that's an option that's available if you're going to be submitting applications to the app store for ios watch os or for vision os all you have to do just click a developer account and follow the processes that i mentioned and you'll be good to go and if you like this video or found it helpful in a way let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to give this video a like and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. It don't matter what he say, don't matter what she say, don't matter what they say, Regalia AK, guns for my day. I'm not a law abiding citizen. I come to paralyze the leader red. Rumors antagonize the dinner dates. Some devastation from the paper pain. I make the